I doubt any judge is going to take this lawsuit. Can you imagine Biden and some of his cabinet members actually getting charged with genocide? As the United Nations mourns the death of more than 100 staff members in Gaza, the UN's host country and largest donor is being sued for its role in the war. United States President Joe Biden, Secretary of State Antony Blinken, and Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin are accused of failing to prevent and aiding and abetting genocide. The lawsuit in federal court was filed by a nonprofit legal organization. They have a significant responsibility under customary international law, under federal law, uh, to prevent this genocide, to stop supporting this genocide. And every step of the way, at every opportunity, they have failed. Um, they have continued to provide cover to Israel. They have continued to provide material support to Israel. And currently, they intend to send more money and more weapons to Israel. Plaintiffs in the case include U.S. citizens with family in Gaza, like Leila al-Haddad, who's lost five family members there since October 7th and has several more struggling to survive. I paid for Israel to kill my cousins and my aunt. There's no two ways around it. It was my tax dollars that did that, that sent those bombs to Israel to kill my family. Yeah, the United States government loves using U.S. tax money to give to the Israeli government. No, the Israeli government is going to use it to kill innocent people. And so I feel I and all other American taxpayers have a very unique responsibility to hold our government and our elected officials responsible. The Convention on the Prevention of Genocide was unanimously adopted by the UN General Assembly in 1948, but was not formally ratified by U.S. Congress until 1988 in legislation that was sponsored by then-Senator Joe Biden. In addition to finding the leaders in violation of the law, the lawsuit calls for relief in the form of ending the United States' $3.8 billion in annual military support to Israel. The White House has yet to respond to our request. Oh, I would love if the United States was forced to stop giving money to the Israeli government. That would be like cherry on the, on the cake. For comment on the case. While it would be unusual for the U.S. judiciary to rule on U.S. policy abroad, lawyers say there is extensive evidence to support their case and that it's not just a matter of saving lives, but one of international law and order. Kristen Salumi.